glad this is over. Oh, I know, like, you've been through so much. I just think you deserve it. Like, you've so got this, you know. I can relax now. Yeah, 100%. But I can't wait to see him again. Oh, you're in denial. I'm not in denial. You are in denial. I'm not in denial. Come on, you're in denial. I'm not in denial. He did want me. Regardless of what he said, I carried magic within these hands. I understood him better than anyone else. Why wouldn't he want me? My love for him felt greater than anything he's ever had. I know it. I don't want to be in denial. My love is not a, a one week free trial. I'm built for love and, and I know him. Please, stay. It was not his intention to push me away. He did not leave me for her. Yeah, okay, she's pretty and skinny and taller and white. We've seen this all before, but he knows really fucking well that she's a fucking whore. Please, just, just let go of this image that you have of her. You don't, you don't want her, you want me. Look at me, my eyes, my skin, my hair, my culture, me. All you want is what you see. It was not your intention to let me down. I know it better than anyone. My skin is brown. He didn't mean it. He, di he didn't, he, he said I'm pretty. Yeah, you are. You are so beautiful, but still, he didn't mean it. No, I'm, I'm pretty to him. Even like this, I know it. <laughs> Even like this. We, come on, we've been here before. He won't choose you, he'll choose her. He'll choose her and you'll lose your identity and... Men will feast on your wounds, Jessica. They'll celebrate your weaknesses, they'll... You're nothing to them. Yet I... I always fall to my fucking knees. You will not fall to your knees. I will fall to my knees. You will not fall to your I knees. I will fall to you my knees. You will not fall to your knees. I looked at the brown of my skin with your eyes, grieving all that I could have been to you. I didn't find much reassurance because you're right. This world was not made for me. Pull me by my hair and whisper in my ear to give up, I will do it. Force me to beg for you and I will do it. I'll ask you to hit me with your superior hands, but my henna stained hands won't fit in with yours. Yours are bigger. They hold all that the world has to offer you. Yet I, I hold on to the grains of self-love, trying aimlessly to find a meaning for myself. Had I been thinner, yes, Yes, I mean it. Had I been thinner, you would have loved to hold on to me for longer. Maybe I could have fitted in this small box you tried to keep me in for nights. I could fit in a small corner of this world. And you picked me up whenever you felt like it, just to fuck me from the back, to not be reminded of the face your whiteness shies away from. Had my skin been fair, your compadre will hear my name. He will learn and swallow it with pride. It wouldn't be hard to pronounce. So allow me to be fucked once again. My anger is not to go in vain. But what if? No. But what if? No. But what if? No. But what if I, I asked myself, would he like me more if I was taller and thinner, white, but Hand, but not too yes. much. No, but would he like me more if I spoke his language with sounds and rhythms that flow effortlessly in my mouth? If I understood his jokes, his dialect, if, if I didn't have a language of my own, would he want me more? No, he wouldn't. Could you hold my body tighter and 
trace your fingers over all that you'd like to change. I was yours to mold anyway. See the way my hip bones stick out of my body and push themselves out. See the hyperpigmentation around my mouth. See all that hurtuism. All that womanhood has cursed me with. You know, go ahead, fix it with your superior hands. Could you ask your compare for his mastery too? I mean, two sculptors might make better art. Art, no, a recovery. Recover what is left of femininity in this mess I call my body and project it out into the world to be feasted on. This time, we'll have spectators, hungry men with eyes of, of lust. May they conquer what womanhood has left behind. So, inaugurate this battle and trace your fingers over all that you'd like to change. Change. I'll change. Yes, you'll change and it'll consume you. You'll become miserable, you won't know who you are. Ami at Tamohira. My pain will always be beautiful. You'll be left lingering on for more until all your desires are satisfied. You'll find my troubles to be romantic until they affect your being. Your being as a man of high caliber whose growth relies on my suffering. If I ask you to touch me, if you ask me to touch you, I'm touching your body and my uncle's. If I tell you I love you, I'm telling my first boyfriend I love him as he leaves me for my best friend. If I hold your hand, I'm holding on to the first boy who falls them down his trousers. And if I caress your face, I'm being forcibly kissed by my coworker outside the pub. I'm touching you and all the boys I tried to love before because all this pain I've endured makes me a better lover. I'm Yushu Dr. Mohira. I'm malleable under your hands, as I was to your predecessors. Turns out, I carry a, a master's in grief. Not through death and, and not through loss, but through living with the weight of affection. Grief has heightened all the love I carry within my body. I ache when you ache and I thrive when you thrive. Hidden in corners, I follow your every step and treasure all that you are yet to become. A mohi love who loves and grieves. Carry that pain away from me and yet I will find it lingering in the air and hidden in the shadows I will come to you and take away all the pain from your wounds. <laughs>